Hello Virgo. Welcome to Guided Angel Tarot. I'm here today to do a love reading for you for the month of October. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus especially. I am using the Everyday Witch Tarot today. We're going to clarify with some Romance Angels and then we'll pull a Whispers of Love Oracle at the end of the reading. Angels, Divine Spirits, and Guides. Show me the messages I just heard we need to talk for Virgo, for October 2020, show me Virgo, October 2020, is that, show me Virgo, what does Virgo need to know? In their love life. Show them the message. Got a flipper. They need to see. There we go. I feel like you're unhappy with someone. Show me Virgo. For October 2020 love messages I'm not sure too many show me Virgo love October show me Virgo two more for Virgo. Two more cards, angels, please. Virgo, thank you. And the final outcome, show me Virgo. Final outcome in Virgo's love life. Show me what they need to see. Mm. I keep getting a couple. It's almost like they're unsure. I haven't used this deck in a long time. I actually just found it in the back <laughs> under a bunch of stuff. As now. All right. Thank you. Okay, my goodness, overall energy, the chariot reversed. Okay, let me straighten, guys. I have to be able to see all of the pictures. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles in the moon. Okay, and underneath the chariot, the four of cups, we have <laughs> underneath the chariot in reverse, we have the four of cups, cancer energy in the overall message. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think that I could move this over a little bit. That's better. You can see everything. So, in the center of your reading, you have the King of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Someone has a temper here. Someone made an impulsive decision to end something. I'm even looking at this card, which is why I picked it up. It's like... You got stabbed in the back by this person possibly many times, and then they ran. If you can see over in the corner of this card, someone's running away, just leaving that person laying on the ground with all those swords in their back. I feel like this was an, I, they keep saying an argument. I, somebody needs to talk here. Somebody needs to talk. 
King of Wands reversed is also not taking action. The Ace of Wands reversed is also not taking action. Someone made a very impulsive decision, had a heated argument. Everything just went up in smoke. Wow. The pictures on these cards. Sorry, I can get distracted by that. Um, somebody doesn't know what to do. The moon is your final outcome here. Somebody doesn't know how to get over this. They're also hiding the fact that they're broken hearted. Something ended very suddenly. Someone moved on, possibly is, is far away now. There's so much impulsive energy here. I do like that both of the aces is in reverse because that tells me that there's a delay. Whatever this is, I feel like it's fixable. I feel like you're in separation right now from a person. And there's also some type of like a mirroring energy because I'm looking at this here. Someone needs to get up their courage and make a move because you're both sitting here waiting for the other person to step forward and take action and neither one of you is doing it but I feel like you're both broken hearted there's something about three people here because you got the three of swords and the three of wands both showing up in the reading somebody like hot temper hot temper they keep saying hot temper somebody let their temper explode and there's there's pain here ten of swords is in the challenge position and the three of swords is also making an appearance somebody's really hurt by what happened four of wands in reverse is in your past that's a separation this separation is in the past this other person initiated the separation they're the ones that took off they keep saying took off somebody feels sad and rejected i feel like this person might even just be sitting alone just i don't know i mean look at this person they're sitting there and they're just looking like what did i do how can i fix this i feel like somebody wants to take action so bad they're not doing it They're fearing that this is going to be a missed opportunity with that Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They're fearing that this relationship's not going to start over because they did something that was just so bad that they don't know how to approach you, but they miss you. Don't you doubt for one second that this person's hurting over what happens. There's a very strong Cancer energy here. Also Aries. I mean, there's pain and disappointment. Someone moved out or moved on unexpectedly. Knight of Pentacles reversed. That's a stuck. This is stuck, stuck. What was under there, too? Page of Cups is reversed. Oof. Somebody's feelings got hurt here. This person left you, they're not happy wherever they're at or whoever they're with. I feel like they might be having some money issues because this is not stable. Also, I keep hearing no support. They felt like they weren't supported or you feel like you weren't supported. This is a storm. There was a storm that rolled. There was a tower here. A tower is an explosion. I feel like you're just as sad as the other person. This was either a marriage or someone that you lived with or a long-term relationship. Now, if you're at a distance, like if someone made an impulsive decision, I keep hearing impulsive, made an impulsive decision to just leave because there was chaos and drama in this somehow, some way. And it was like somebody said, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. I got to leave and I got to do it now. And they went and now they're regretting what they did. And they're confused and afraid to approach you because they're fearing rejection. 
Actually, I think you both are. But back to, so if somebody left and like moved far away or something like that, they may not have the money to move back or come to be with you. This person may have leaned on you for money. Maybe you kicked them out. Somebody moved out here very quickly or left very quickly. There's secrets here. It's a secret about money, a secret about a spending problem. Somebody could be a gambler here with all three of those. Knight of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Pentacles reversed. There's something that this person isn't telling you about their money. I can even feel it in my gut. I feel like this person is crying. See, there's an empty bed here too. There's either an empty bed in your home or where this person used to sleep. They're not sleeping there anymore. Someone wanted their freedom or didn't want to commit. I'm getting, I don't want to commit. I don't want to be in this relationship. Show me. Let's get some romance angels out here. I definitely feel, I don't know. I mean, Virgo, if this is you, if you are watching this reading and it's resonating, I feel like if you would take action, because I see that you're not taking action either, this could be fixable. Because it's like you're confused. You may be fearing rejection as well. I feel like you're both mirroring each other. Both, you got two threes here, you got two aces reversed. There's a mirroring going on. Show me the four to the three going backwards. Someone refuses to grow up. Show me Virgo, please. Show me Virgo, love, October, this one. Attraction, wow. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I definitely feel like there's attraction here, heavy attraction. Or oh, there was. Show me more for Virgo. Virgo, love, October 2020. Worth waiting for, beautiful. One more for Virgo, please. Somebody's trying to get their crap together. Separation, I knew that. Bottom of the deck, this could be a marriage. So, the Three of Wands, see, also signifies waiting. We're waiting for this new beginning. I feel like you're both waiting. Now, with the Knight of Pentacles here, there's a possibility because someone didn't want to commit, someone didn't want to get married, someone didn't want to take something to the next level. So they took off because they wanted to see other people or whatever. And then you're the one that got the broken heart. It's very possible. Something hurt here. This person is thinking now about whether they want to be in a long-term relationship with you. I love when the worth waiting for card comes out because that tells me that all this pain is going to be worth it. Because this person is going to make the change because they're attracted to you. So, you know, I feel like maybe you should just let this person be. Let this person, oh gosh, they're saying suffer. Let them suffer. They need to realize that you were the best thing that ever happened to them. Where's my, give me one second, guys. All right, Virgo, I don't do this for everybody, but I went and got my other deck for you. Angels, Please show me additional messages for Virgo in love. I feel like this is very fixable. Um, the only reason that I'm pulling this other deck out is because I don't want to leave you with that moon card as your final outcome. Please show me additional messages for Virgo. October. Love. What do they need to know, angels? Show me Virgo. Mm. 
Maybe they don't want to give us any more information. There it is. Thank you. I'll take that one. Passion. Insane chemistry. Like each other equally. Having fun. Sunglasses. Watching, looking, stalking. Gaslighting, perception, focusing out. This person. Hmm. They are just pretending that they are fine. But they are so hurt inside. And I'm getting that like each other equally thing again. I knew that was coming. I knew it. Can I have one more? There's mirroring going on here. You both want to be together. But, I mean, Virgo's... Yeah, there it is. Sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Somehow, this person is working on something. Working on... I don't know, just being stable, getting their life together, doing the right thing, growing up, stop being childish. You are going to have what you want. If any of this is resonating with you, you're going to get what you want from this relationship, but it's going to take some time. But that worth waiting for, because the Three of Wands is also waiting. You're just waiting for them to come back. And they will. I don't know when, though. January, two aces, two threes, March. Uh, with all the pentacles here. Pentacles are fall. I don't know. I, I always try October. Uh, maybe they're... Hmm. Maybe they're going to come in October. All right. Anyway, I'm not going to drive myself crazy over the date. Um, what was on the bottom? New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. They're coming back. They're growing up. They realized that you were the best thing that ever happened to them. They, you, they realized that they never should have left you. They want to come back so bad. This is a nice. It's actually a nice reading. Show me Virgo. Someone real. Somebody realizes they made a big mistake here. They let their anger or their temper get in the way. They keep telling me temper. Slow down. Pause and allow things to unfold. Pause also is a relationship that's on break. You're on break from this person, whoever it is. It is not over. It's just going to take some time. I don't know what this person's working on. Working on stability. But anyway, uh, I am going to read this from the book. I always do it at the end. These descriptions are pretty short, but they have been kind of resonating with the reading. So I'm not going to pull any more cards. So if you're not interested in listening to me read from the book, you know, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon. If you are hanging out for this, let's see what it says. Everything in your life is in divine order. There's no need to rush nor hurry. So just wait and let this person do their thing. I, I am feeling that. In your excitement, you may overlook the importance of enjoying the creative process. Getting to the goal is half the fun. You might also miss guidance or messages when you don't allow things to unfold naturally. Regroup and release the need to race to wherever you feel you need to be. Slowing down will allow you to appreciate what is in front of you. Embrace the moment. There is nowhere you need to be that will not be there later. Recognize the importance of making time and to take pleasure in the journey. Slowing down will also help you be more aware of what is going on for you. Find a quiet place to sit and gift yourself the opportunity to be in nature without any interruptions. This may mean disconnecting from your cellular device. Observe what is going on for you spiritually. Listen to your thoughts and identify your feelings. So important to spend time. It doesn't even have to be in meditation, but put down your phone, shut off your TV, and just sit in your recliner for a few minutes and just, you know, think. Allow messages to come to you because this is so true. If you're just rushing through your day, then you're just, life is just going to pass you by. But anyway, a woman lies in repose. Can you see all of that? A woman lies in repose with her hair falling around her in a maze. Once again, confusion. The maze may reflect 
the complexity of your thoughts or confusion over where to go next. That's exactly what's happening. A pair of candles stand above, illuminating and protecting the woman. The candles depict the archangels and the flame symbols, the energy of Archangel Michael, the archangel of protection. Know you have help as you make some special time to reflect and gain guidance. Someone's very confused here about what to do. And I feel, I actually feel like it's the other person. I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign. But I don't know if you should take any action either, Virgo. This, you know, I, I don't like to give too much advice. Just allow things to unfold naturally. Don't keep sitting and thinking about this relationship or this person. Everything happens in divine timing and when it's supposed to be, it'll be. With that said, I am going to leave that there, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching and good luck with your situation. I will see you soon.